sure the window was the right size. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Leave the stream is live. Don't see anyone talking in the next few minutes. I will assume it's not live. <sighs> the cat is trying to get on my desk as usual. Off. Off. Once again, he has never been allowed on my desk. I don't I don't know where he gets this idea that suddenly one day I'm not going to throw him off my desk. Cats have no um no sense of respect. Nope. Or anything like that. Nope, <laughs> nothing like that. Um so hello everybody. We are back with Dark Souls 2. Um there have been a few changes since last stream. Um I went and explored the uh, explored the castle a little bit more. Um, I didn't go through any of the, uh, the unlocked doors, but I explored a bit more. I did a bit more leveling up, so you will now see... If I, where's player stats? So now I am at 15 ADP, which I oh, believe wow. was what people told me I was supposed to be at. Like, minimum, right? If I remember correctly. So... 15 ADP. I also bought a rapier. Um, I have no idea if I'm going to like it or not, but it seemed better than the sword that I had. Um, I also noticed um, it has a dedicated right hand parry in this game, which is interesting. Yes. Oh, but it, when I double hand it, it's just like this. So I assume that the right hand parry is better than just parrying with a shield, since you can only do the right hand parry when you have a shield up. I can't remember the frame data, and um, I I do know that the scimitars were better than parry shields for a while. I don't okay. know about the rapiers. Well, we'll experiment with it. Um, and the last thing I did is well, not last thing. The the last thing that I will talk about that I did, this is so. Why am I saying this so awkwardly? The other thing I did was um. I used the, uh, what is that, the Pharos device thing? Um, in, in, maybe we'll just go to that room when I'm talking about it. Um, let's see, I'm trying to remember where it was. It's here, yeah. So I'm still a bit unclear on what it did. It looked like it made a invisible wall visible, or is it, or did it unlock an invisible wall? Um, so those, yeah, it, Pharos locks usually tie to some, um, secret being revealed. Okay. And so it's not always an invisible wall? It's not always an invisible wall, no. Okay. Um, um so... Some, sometimes it's, like, a utility, sometimes it's a, it's a secret wall, other, sometimes it's, it's something that actually affects how the level works a little Interesting. bit. Interesting. So it's a whole bunch of stuff it does. Yes. That's cool. So I assume that invisible wall I could have found if I didn't use it? Um, no, I think you had. For this okay. one in particular, you had to use the uh, Ferris lock. Gotcha. Um, uh, unknown, per you're making an ARG about the ocean. That's awesome. Um, and as far as, let's see, if you missed the previous videos, they are on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't think they're available as VODs anymore, but I put, I'm put i putting all of Dark Souls 2 on my YouTube. I don't know if that's actually turning out to be a good idea. Uh, not many people are watching it, which I don't actually care about. I care more about hopefully it's not irritating too many people on YouTube that that's what I'm uploading. Uh, but I haven't heard anything, so... Um, and I'm going to upload the whole series of Dark Souls 2 specifically to YouTube. Um, and... So in the future, probably select other streams. Um, I I didn't get a new mic since last time. Um, if that's what you're asking, why not stream on YouTube? I guess I could stream on YouTube as well. Um, here, let me go back up here. I I noticed you can do a fast climb up the ladder, which is fun. Yeah. Uh, I guess I could, like, restream on YouTube also. 
I haven't figured that out yet, though. I did have a question for... Oh, man. For anyone who is able and willing to answer, which is... Um, is there an advance... Like, would people like webcam being on? Or chat being on the screen? Or do... Or is that, like, not really something anyone cares about? Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is... I did light this torch. Um, chat probably doesn't... Yeah, I wasn't... I wasn't sure about it for really anything. I think I did on no, I didn't unlock this yet. Okay. So ah, we have some darkness. Don't care much. Yeah, I I don't know if like I did camera yesterday for the live chat, because otherwise there'd be nothing on screen, but wasn't sure if that like added to the experience for anyone for games. I was figuring I didn't want to block anything in the game. So uh, I also looked at some comparison screenshots and videos of, oh, cool, of the, no, does it, ah, I can still do the parry, okay, um, oh, skeleton, oh, I looked at some screenshots and videos comparing this with, oh, I didn't get the parry, dang it, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, there's so many, there's only two, that's not so many. Okay, I did okay damage to him. Uh, let's heal. Um, I looked at stuff comparing this with the pre-release alpha version, which was really interesting. It was a lot more different than I expected. The uh, with the lighting differences. Right. But chat on screen is redundant. E yeah, yeah, you're right. Um. Maybe I should do a YouTube poll. That's a good point. Uh, let's... Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna put my torch out since I have this light here. Oh, it's a three-er. Um, but the, the other thing I found interest... The thing I found interesting about it is some areas... It looked like it was more than just... Like, a uh, um them having to like i'm sure there there was like like performance reasons for them doing it but in some areas it was like the actual visual design of the area was different um yeah i, th I think this game went through quite a large technical hardship just, yeah like, overall that would make sense but it also seemed like like um the outside castle area in the pre-release version it was very very sort of Dark Souls 1 looking with the uh, really sickly blown out looking sky and a lot of hard shadows and um, sort of bare stone. And then in the actual released version, it's like moss covered stone. The sky is a lot more um, normal looking and of course it's brighter. So it's like there was more changed there than just them having to turn off the lighting engine. It was like so I wonder, I I don't know, have they talked about in interviews or anything how much of it was genuinely, like, a performance problem and how much of it was just a change in art direction? No, uh, <clears throat> From Software really doesn't talk all that much outside of Miyazaki's, like, kind of I figured rare interviews. Yeah, I think. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Most of the time that stuff has to be, like, data mind or there there were um a while back some people posted like early elden ring stuff and uh i guess they do a lot of their art styling and po like their final like color pass pretty late in the process because ah, okay. a lot of the colors were like dramatically different than the final game that makes sense yeah it was interesting to see and also i was wondering like they might have taken it out in some parts as a gameplay thing. Um, because having to do this through the entire game would probably get old pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, basically, if it's not about swamps, you won't hear from it. 
I think oh. the only thing I've heard about their level design process is that they actually don't have uh, specific level designers. Like the, the they have, really basically they have developers who uh, both act as like game designers, uh, level designers, and environmental artists, and they go through. And they're they're it's basically uh, like a world builder essentially. Okay, I think that's a great idea personally. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. Those rolls are all like sort of interconnected. Yeah, the um, oh, Turtle Man is coming. Yeah, that seems like a very good thing to me. Um, what's oh geez, what's gonna be best here? I don't think there's any chance of me knocking him into the pit, is there? Oh no! <laughs> Trying to block that with a tiny wooden shield. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's a exercise in futility, isn't it? Um, let's just run back this way. I'm actually thinking I might do a run back to the bonfire. Um, since I've got these... Since I've got these torches lit now, um, I'll be able to fight the skeletons a bit more effectively. Yeah, I really conceptually like the idea of having... The person who designs the levels is, is like they're doing the visuals and the gameplay not just like here's the guy doing the block out here and then this person like because those things are really interrelated visuals and gameplay that is definitely not uh, an opinion shared by a lot of game dev no uh, twitter yeah no i know that but i i have a lot of opinions that aren't shared by game dev twitter yeah, <laughs> yeah. to be honest um all right, back to this. I don't, uh, Bloodshot, I don't think you're ready to hear from, from programmers more often. No. Programmers are, are uh... <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if there are, a lot of them are ready for the limelight. <laughs> yeah, programmers are a different breed. Oh, right, 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 skeletons. This looks really cool. Yeah, this I, looks I, great. I do, I do like it when they go into this sort of, like, dark mode. Definitely, um, I, make, I agree. This, there's definitely some fun parts of this game where they take advantage of that. Yeah, I was just thinking that, like, I like the exterior being a little more bleak and washed out looking. Um, I know there's some areas where it looks like it doesn't look good missing lighting, but like the I'm thinking specifically about like this area outside. Yeah. I actually think the change to it being a little more sort of um, washed out and bleak. Uh, is... I like that better. Oh, right, that's not a strong attack. That's a parry. Oh, I... <laughs> I'm, I mispressed that by, like, a split second. There we go. Uh, someone asked about Iron Lung Workshop support, and that's very unlikely to happen. Um... And that's simply because Iron Lung doesn't have official mod support, and I'm not smart enough to know how to set up, like, workshop support for the the mods that, like, the way that people are able to mod it. If... I'm not going to say no, because, like, if there is a way to do that, that would be cool, but, like, there's no official mod support, and there aren't that many mods, and so I'm not sure... Workshop is really, um, would really be worth it for anybody. You can backstab skellies. That's true, yeah. Rapiers are also, like spears, they're one of those weapons that you can actually also use when the shield is up. Ah, right, the little stabby poke. Any chance we're going to get an ultra hard Akuma permadeath or anything? Yes, you are going to get that for Butcher's Creek. In a, in a sense, um, I actually decided on this last night. That I think I was thinking there were going to be a few like new game plus challenge modes, um, but instead of that, I think what I'm going to do is something like uh, AVP, the the old AVP classic, where you can complete the game in certain ways to unlock cheat modes, um, like anti gravity, for instance. Which does I I tried anti gravity last night, which it doesn't affect you or enemies because that would take a lot of work to make happen but it affects all of the rigid bodies and it's hilarious and amazing 
It is so much fun. I've okay, so I gotta do another video on that game at some point because I have added a lot. Um including the thing people have asked for, and I know that it should have, but I've been Oh no! Oh, back down I go. Can they come down here? I don't think so. Okay. We'll just put a put a bookmark on that and come back there later. Anyway, so I've added the thing that I know it needed, but I was afraid to do, which is you can now pick up uh, any of the props. And it's very fun. You can't, you can throw them, but you don't, but they don't do damage when you throw them, but you can kick them and it does do damage. Um, which has now turned the game basically into, it, you, it, it started as we have condemned at home it has now become we have condemned and dark messiah at home <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's very fun adding a kick is, is immediately becomes kick is the only and the best thing you can do yeah which i was resisting for a while like but nah i just, like i don't know it was too uh, i i was like ah oh, let's try it so you can pick up objects when your hands are empty now um and I'll do a video on it because I, I want to showcase it and showcase some of the some of the uh, physics craziness you can do now. Um, uh, is this sword even going to do anything to him? Let's see. Oh, well, it doesn't if he smacks me. Roll in close. Do the stabby. Well, eh, it's not nothing. Ow. It's not nothing, but it's not a lot. Hmm. Is this rapier like upgraded? It is not upgraded at all, and that's what I was just thinking is maybe I should investigate upgrading it. I will need some souls though. Which I just lost. So uh back down we go. <laughs> oh hey, good question. Um two good questions actually. Uh, I have not played Dragon's Dogma, but I just bought it on sale and will probably play it at some point. And, Dylan, are you a fan of the OG Dead Rising? Yeah, we're... I, huge I fans. We are huge yeah, fans of the... Of us, <laughs> yeah. A whole bunch of us in New Blood really love the, the original Dead Rising. And I didn't even... I, I don't even have nostalgia for it. Like, I played it for the first time a few years ago and was like, this is phenomenal! <laughs> it's so good! Yeah, uh, it's awesome. Yeah, I love that game. Oh, wow. That... I played it. Uh, whoa, at, at whoa. The... Oh, no. The their, skeletons. Their sword hitboxes are uh, start to be active sooner than I thought they would be. <laughs> the dual roll. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying, um, Dylan? I actually I, I played Dead Rising uh, when it came out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Um, might have soul items in your inventory. I do, yeah. I was kind of hoping to just get back the souls that I lost instead of using those, but... Skellies can repo repost? Reposty? Reposte? Yeah, however, you, however you pronounce that. Um, so... We're gonna put a put a put a little bookmark on. Ooh, hold on a second. There is a shiny. Up there. There's a dude up there. This is sort of unhelpful, but skeletons. I think in this one they are weak to blunt damage. Okay. Which is the complete opposite of thrust damage. So I just have to say insensitive things to them, I guess. Yeah. You just have to be like, have to, your, have to do, your bones open, could be wider. They're open to Dave damage. <laughs> your bones are, are discolored. <laughs> yeah. But they're open to like, ah, we need some set dressing in this area. Or, this font is bad. They're open to that sort of damage. Did Rising hurt me with what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about... So... It is eternally funny to me how pure, just the purity and the innocence and the loving, loving tenderness with which uh, her cleavage is rendered in that game. 
it is like it, it, it is it is like next gen cleavage into <laughs> 80 percent of the frame budget went to that cleavage. yes it, it is like and it doesn't even it doesn't even feel <laughs> uh gross or pervy it, it's just like this was this was someone's mona lisa this this woman this video game woman's cleavage <laughs> um okay so there's an item up there and i want it It seems really unlikely that I'd... There is a way to get up there, and you've actually gotten pretty close to getting up there last okay. frame. Really? Oh, wait a sec. So maybe that is where I was going to go. Because I wanted to... We're, we're going to put a bookmark up on that whole area for a second. I just want to see what's up here. Because as we've discussed before, my preferred method of exploring... Ooh! Ooh! No! No! This, is, this happened last time. This is yeah. exactly what happened last time. <sighs> Literally down to you, every strike you did. Every took. single one of those was what happened last time. With, with the first oh. one ran to the corner of the wall, <laughs> got banged on the wall twice. Do they respawn if you rest at the bonfire or? Yes. Okay. Well. I will. I will. T I will warn you. Um, mm -hmm. In this game, the tracking on weapons is so bad that your really only hope of hitting them is using a weapon that can actually, like, slam into the ground. Hmm. I see. Um, I don't okay. know if the Raper will cut that. Yeah, it's not really a slamming weapon. Am I winning? Is there any winning at, <laughs> at Dark Souls? I guess there kind of is. Um... I'll try it again with this, just to... Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, you almost got it. Okay, I'll try standing a ways back. Yeah, that's just... That's yep. not going to do it. You're right. Um. Okay, put a bookmark on the crystal lizard also. Let's just see what's in through this door. Oh. I think we found our way to the shiny. And a potential mimic. Or poison chest? Ooh, a trap of a different sort. There we go. Um, as I say, did you pick up the item in the chest? I did not. Oh, uh, small white. Sword. Oh, I noticed also while I was grinding off stream that. I do not have a orange soapstone. Um, so I'm, yeah, at least last I remember it. Yeah, I have, I just have white soapstone and black separation crystal, and I don't have orange soapstone. So, uh, what I'm remember. going, yeah, so basically I just want to know if I missed it and I'm supposed to have it now. Does Pate sell it? I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay, like I need to... Yeah, okay, you're saying I need to buy it. Divine Blessing, nice. Or is it uh, the the hag that sells it? We'll check. This hag, you mean? The hag, yeah. But I think she might need to go... Oh, okay, wait, you're right. Uh, you don't need the soapstone. It's like Elden Ring. Uh, you oh. can just write messages. Oh, okay. Okay, let's try... Let's, let's see what weapons I, oh, I keep going to the wrong let's see what i have that could slam into the ground it was an axe oh it's this infantry axe i do not have uh, do i have the stats for it yes i do sorry i'm trying to switch mentally switch between um this and the dark souls one ui which are a little different okay so this uh it has an overhead swing. We'll try that. Time to power stance axes. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm, I could. I'm, I'm un unsure about this weapon's ability to kill crystal lizards. Okay, where's the crystal lizard? I don't think he said. Oh, it's I didn't rest it. Yeah. I mean it. Mm, maybe you're right. What's does the halberd have a slam down? Check. Usually one of them. One of the attacks, like, 
slaps the ground. It says it's ineffective. Yeah, well, not that so attack. Yeah. That one does. Let's see. How ineffective. How ineffective. Uh, you need 20 strength. What's your strength at? Um. Does it say in here? Uh, uh no, no that's just equipment. That's uh, uh, ten. ten. Okay. Uh, Two-handing it would give you fifteen, or is it double? One point five, and and Dark Souls one isn't it one point five? Oh, it's it's doubled in this game. Man, that's so weird. I'm so yeah, used let to me, it uh, being one point five. Use this item. Uh, yeah, that's a spear. It's unable to use this. Hmm. The stats seem to be fine. Yeah, I mean, just so, try it. Yeah. Just make sure. Don't do the power attack. Do the the this one. single. Yeah. Yeah, that. All right, little lizard. Did I forget to rest again? <clears throat> okay. No big heavy weapons. Yeah. So I've kept I've kept going with um, sorcery run through Dark Souls one. I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan of sorcery. It lacks that sort of visceral feel to it. You know what I mean? Uh, um, it's kind of fun to have to try and solve familiar problems in different ways. But oh, it was just one hit. It's not oh, dead. No, it's, it's, not, it's dead. not dead. It's not dead. Okay. That's too close. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. It was so close to being dead, though. Let's try again. Anyway, there's. It's cool to have to solve things in a in, like familiar problems in a different way. But I always am like, oh, but I, I miss kind of smashing things with a giant hunk of metal. Yeah, and and uh, that's why it's nice. In Elden Ring, you you have like ultra great swords that also are like for magic users. <laughs> yeah, which I think I have some. Um, there we go. I think I have some options for that that I haven't gotten to yet. Fight Night Shard. But, yeah, mostly I'm just casting, uh, casting Wingardium Leviosa. So to, you know, wispy things at enemies. Can't wait for him to find, to find the piss button. Two hours of this, two, it hasn't been two hours yet. We're fine. This is how I play games. I'm very slow and I wouldn't say methodical, more like meandering. Slow and meandering is my style. I think. Can I use this? Oh, I can now. Whoops. Double shield. <laughs> oh, wait a second. What? So, OK. All right. So let's go. How? <laughs> Is there any any Power reason to ever shield. do this? <laughs> okay, wait. Can we I found it, guys? Can the I ultimate actually Dark Souls build? <laughs> can I actually do damage with these in any way? I need to. I need to find a single enemy I can do this on. <laughs> There's <laughs> actually a dual uh, or a, a shield weapon and. Um... Actually, the shield oh. weapons and and some some of the shields in Elden Ring can actually uh, murder people because they I do remember so much there's yeah. Okay. I don't think there's any way to do damage, is there? Unless it, it, what if you, unless you like parry him and then repost yeah, with the shield, see. if that's even possible. Yeah. Uh. People be like. <laughs> David's not making enough progress in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> He'll be David playing Dark Souls 2. <laughs> yep. I'm trying to repost that. Maybe I can't repost the shield. Two-handed shield. I love hey, that you went to I an think enemy we found that an attack. Almost. Is it an attack? I love that you went to an enemy that also like abuses its shield. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that I think that's just a two-handed repost, isn't it? It's extremely funny. Oh wait! There's an attack! It did like five damage! <laughs> eight damage. I I'm love sorry, that they let you do damage. this. 
<laughs> it's so stupid. Okay, let's go back and uh Yeah, let, let's let's go back and be be normal for a bit. Use L1. I have L1 with oh oh with double handing. Oh you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, so I can attack with Is he still following me? Can I do a plunge attack with the shield? Not really. <laughs> If this wasn't, if this wasn't also okay. a shield enemy, maybe this would work. <laughs> yeah. Normal. Well, normal for me. Spike shield and bone wheel. Oh, I forgot about the bone wheel shield. Hell yeah. So I have probably ill-advisedly um, started hanging around on Reddit, which is probably going to end poorly, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, and... So this and uh what was i saying i just wanted to compare this you were ruining this. your life with reddit yes correct uh actually i think i want this um and going on like seeing seeing topics from the dark souls reddit is so funny because yes. you'll see you know, like i saw one where it's like i am so fucking lost in this game and then the first words i saw uh under the title were i am currently in blight town <laughs> i was like yep yeah <laughs> you didn't even need to say that we know the, uh, the good dark souls reddit is uh shitty dark souls oh uh, really which is just uh, it's just a reddit of dark souls like shit posting oh i should like, follow that no nope. No useful dialogue, no actual conversations, just people shit posting about Dark Souls and uh, Dark Souls games and stuff. That sounds amazing. Um, so actually, I'm gonna go. Wait, was there a. I'm trying to remember where all the doors are that I could unlock with this key. <laughs> yeah, shitty Dark Souls is great, but also about half of it is Gwendolyn Thirst posts. Yeah, <laughs> as it should be. <laughs> sounds about right. Uh, let's see. Well, I could maybe maybe I should I should go back to doing this. No, I was going to upgrade. I was going to look at the upgrading at least because I don't think I've I don't think I've looked at how upgrading weapons works in this game yet. New red is both pretty similar to Dark Souls 1, but there's also a few new complexities. cities. So so basically like everything in Dark Souls 2. Yeah. <laughs> like Dark Souls 1, but also <laughs> not. Okay. Force. So, um, I know I can't yet. I just, okay, so I still need Tight Knight Shards. Um, I have plenty of Tight Knight Shards. And I will just need some souls. Um, it appears that it costs more souls than it did in Dark Souls 1, or am I just misremembering? Uh, I don't remember the exact values. Uh, it, I think it's a bit more expensive here, maybe? Yeah, that would make sense. Um, so yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to become, like, a Reddit dude, but I don't have anywhere to really get news, from, like, video game news now, because I got that all from Twitter, so... I was like, well, maybe I'll just follow some thing like Half-Life, Dark Souls, Stalker, stuff like that. Um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's upgrade this. Okay. Under how? Okay, so I have the rapier. I have the um, straight sword, which I think is already, yeah, plus one. Um, and that's this this would be more toward quality scaling, but I I don't have like I haven't started up leveling up strength yet right. so um, That does thrust this does slash uh, I think I'm gonna level it up one more time Operating under the assumption that this is like the first game and it's not going to be a huge deal if I level up a weapon that I end up dropping. So we'll do this more. And I do have a... So let's see, the turtle is armored. Did you decide? I've... I haven't really left Twitter. It's just that I'm not browsing Twitter. 
Uh, and whenever I post stuff, it's usually just st like announcing streams or things like that. Um, eh, let's just go see how this goes. Just hear what? Oh, this is. Ah. Hold on, auto mod is being itself again. Um, yeah, I could just rely on getting news through New Blood Discord. <laughs> um, oh yeah, true, but the durability thing. I, having multiple weapons around is good for that. I like that change, um, conceptually. There's a lot of changes in here that I'm like, I like this conceptually, but I can't commit fully to it with yet because uh i'm not that far <laughs> nope no rolling for you Wow, yeah, it's really Damn. easily, it's really easy to get locked, stun locked by stuff. Um, I can't be as blase about tanking hits. As I, oh, out of stamina. There. Yeah, this game is vicious with stamina management. Yeah. All right. Souls back. Check and chat. Yeah, Twitter. Is, my wife insists she's like, my Twitter's fine. I because she, she just like follows. I guess she follows all the right accounts that aren't just engagement machines, and her for you page is not complete cancer. Um. But yeah, that. <laughs> Has not been my experience. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the my least favorite Twitter change um, has been sorting replies by like verified users. It's, yeah, because now every like every reply to like any viral tweet is just people trying to also bait like engagement on their yeah. replies, and actually has nothing to do with the original tweet. Monetizing like, engagement was just unspeakably terrible idea for that platform yeah. so i i just I, I don't enjoy having conversations on that platform anymore yeah. i just like I'll, I'll like post you know memes or game stuff and then just leave yeah it used to, i i don't know if i've changed or if it's probably both like i've changed and twitter has definitely gotten worse but like it used to be kind of fun and it, the fun just was gone for me it was just gross and depressing oh wow they really lead that um i've heard the name house of the dying sun but i don't know if i know what it is okay, there's no easy way to get over to him you do have a bow yeah that's right i'm it's i'm probably shooting myself in the foot by playing dark souls one with a different build and then switching back to this every week um because I keep forgetting which what, which thing am I in Dark Souls two and which thing am I in Dark Souls one. Ow! He 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 roll caught you with that. Yes, he did. You are a brave man doing this with like forty percent health. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up. I think I had better luck fighting him with slash damage, if I remember correctly. Or was that just because I was two handing? Let's try to this. Okay, that's that's not too bad. I two-handed. I just need to be better at dodging. Maybe I just yeah. It maybe just be that I got I, I got sick of it and the no, no, the garbage. No, no, no. Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Twitter was Twitter was definitely better. Uh, I I'm not gonna say the content on Twitter was better. But the way that it sorted like conversations and the timeline definitely used to be better. Yeah, there's like, and also it didn't used to monetize just engagements, which is such a terrible because then, of course, everyone's gonna be inflammatory and 
try and get reactions because it gets a money. <laughs> That's such a bad idea. It, anyway, it's not even the like, oh, they're trying to be like bait posty. Like there's there's that. But they they people just literally post the same like viral videos over and over and over just to like, oh, like people will click it. Mm -hmm. I'll get money from engagement. It's like so much of it is like just spam now. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you can't even I can't even get to the inflammatory game <laughs> dev pose that, yeah. I, that I normally hate. Shoot, I tried for the parry and it didn't. I'm just I'm trying to get the parry timing down because I think it's going to help me in the long run. This game is very ruthless with that. Yes, it is. I, I mean, you guys remember, like, I was pretty consistent with parrying in Dark Souls 1. Not amazing at it, but like relatively consistent. Um, I can barely get it to work here, though. I'm not even sure I know what the... Uh, what the timing is, is the problem. If it's like, there we go. There you go. Can I get this? Nope. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm shouldn't be risking this. Cause I'm, I have a lot of souls on the line. It's just that like, uh, the, the, the like border collie thing. I'm like, now I'm like, gotta parry. I need to parry. Parry, parry, parry. <laughs> you know what I mean? There we go. That did barely anything to him. They are, uh, yeah, they, they, they don't take a lot of crit damage from that. Yeah. Just looking at chat. If it's crunchy or bangy, go with maces. If it's meaty, go slashy. Well, where does pokey pokey come in then? Is there no room for pokey pokey? Uh, there's definitely things that are weak to um, thrust damage. It's quite good, but uh, I, don't, I don't. I think the skeletons are. Oh, it's the best uh, weapon in the game. Oh, okay. What's uh, what's super what's super busted that I think is hilarious is uh, power stancing rapiers. <laughs> That's does, pretty funny. Does, yeah, it does a hideous amount of damage. I haven't experimented with power stancing yet. Is it a? You have to have two of the same type of weapon. Mhm. Mm okay. So if let's see if I have two of the same type of weapon. Um. Okay. Well. Someone suggested axes earlier. Let's just see. So, so how does this work then? So I believe you have to hold down Y. Nope. I'm. Ah, oh God. What is what is the? That's holding he Y. Just, he just did that, but he, it didn't work for some reason. Holding both down. You have double oh, you the need... stat required. I see. Okay. Okay, well, What's we will... What's the stat requirements on the hand axe? Nine. Okay, so <laughs> your strength is like 11, isn't it? Um, 10, I think it was, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, you don't you don't meet the power stance okay. requirement. Well, if I get, like, a dagger and a different sort of dagger... There you go. Is that, so was when, that yeah, what it was? Yes, that's you, that's you entering the power stancing. Uh, when you when you hold them up like that. Okay. Uh, no, try try again. Uh, do it pressing Y. Oh, it's L one. Oh. Ah, okay. Okay, gotcha. Let's try it out. Uh, this is gonna be a bad time to be trying that. Yeah. <laughs> the door. Hey, it worked. No, it didn't work. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, we're 
committed, I guess. We're committed. <laughs> Goodbye, 2,000 souls. It was nice yeah. knowing you. Yeah, this is totally not the right combination for this guy. Okay, I changed my mind. We're, <laughs> we're not committed anymore. Oops. Uh, oh, no. I have recommitted. <laughs> Can I get that? Oh, right, right, right. Arrow guy. <sighs> let's reset. And let's reset it. I'll actually, I'll stop messing around and actually try to do this for real. <laughs> Double maces destroy everything. So yeah, that's, uh, if you recall, um, Elden Ring also has power stancing. Yeah, I thought in Elden Ring there was no having to switch to a stance. It just uh, correct. Yeah, if you as long as you have uh, the same weapon type in both hands, the L buttons will do the will swing both of them. Okay, that's what I thought I remembered. Um, <laughs> yes, two hours of this two and a half hour stream is now dedicated to that same hallway. Uh, all right gonna do this for you real do have now. 2000 souls that is uh, true if you, if you want to use it in any capacity before they uh get swallowed by turtle men that's true i wonder if i have enough to level up oh i can check from here right stats uh yes, you can. yes. two uh two that yes okay cool so we are gonna go level up um is yeah It's a cool idea. I remember, I think I power stanced Colossal Great Swords in I love Elden that moveset. <laughs> yeah. I had so much fun, fun doing that in Elden Ring. It is, yeah. Uh, okay. I do have ADP up to, let's see this. I could take agility up to 92 or level dex. Dylan, you suggested that I don't start going for quality yet right like, i always kind of focus one stat um until it's kind of through because the curves are a little weird with these games it's usually mm -hmm. like uh usually like uh, 10 through 20 it's kind of like a moderate increase then mm -hmm. 20 through like 30 or 40 it's like a major increase and then it dramatically drops off again gotcha. so i usually try to go for the like the high Excuse me, uh, the, the the really high uh, stat value bonuses before swapping to a different stat. Okay, that makes sense. So get dexterity past 20 before thinking about strength is what you'd suggest? Um, yeah, your vigor is also pretty low. If you want, if you were specifically looking for um, offensive stats, then yes, I would probably do dex. Your endurance also could go up. Eight is pretty low. There. That's what I was thinking, because I keep running out of stamina um not that this takes it up by much but yeah we'll do that and then i'm gonna quickly run to the bathroom and we will have hit one hour in without making any uh notable progress of any sort so uh still on brand anyway i'll be right back most most uh <laughs> Most progress made in a David stream. Uh, speaking of Twitter, a while back I actually posted, or I was retweeting some stuff about people uh, were breaking the Dark Souls 2 maps up and showing the different versions of Dranglick Tower, which you can kind of see behind the Emerald Herald screen. Um, and there's like three or four versions of that tower, depending on where you are in the game. So the one that we're looking at right now is just like a card, but there's also a low poly version of it for when you're walking through, uh, I think like the shaded woods. And then there's uh, a higher poly one when you're sort of coming up to it. And then the, the full level render for when you're 
you actually make it through to Franklin Tower. So, like, there's, there's several buildings uh, that you can see in the distance in this game that all have, like, their own... that have, like, different variations depending on how far away you are from them. The fan-made PS2 remake? I've seen the, like, lighting mods and stuff. I don't know if I, uh... I don't know if I've seen the full remake. That seems like a lot of work. Let's see if I can find it though. Yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the distance cards, and then there's, uh... All right, I'm back. Now, we will make actual progress. It is time for progress. Progress, progress, progress. That is what we are going to do. Oh, uh, what were you, uh, what were you showing, or er, sharing, Dylan? Um, so the level that you were in has a, uh, a building and guy box, and I was showing that this game actually has like four to five different versions of that building, depending on how far away you are, like oh. where you are in the game world. And one of the, the one that is in Majula is literally just like a card. Uh, <coughs> but I was, I was posting different versions of it to show like how different that building looks the further you get closer to it. Neat. I'll, I'll have to look at those. Uh, so... What's, uh, say, controversial opinion, but ADP is actually a good stat to include in the game? What? Mm, how, how are mm. you feeling about ADP right now, David? Um, I, honestly, I don't hate it at all. I am, I, I actually kind of like having to be a little more shield focused right now. Um, but I also don't really see the reason behind it. Like, because doesn't everyone just level ADP? It's like, is there really a choice to be made? Or is it just like, well, yeah, OK, you're going to have to dump some points into ADP then. I, I feel like most the most people that don't level ADP are uh, there's probably two camps. One is that they don't know that how important ADP is. And the other is that they do know how important ADP is. And they have built a build that ignores it because they're like a caster or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, the first case is much more of a problem when people aren't aware yeah. of it. Like, it's basically two stats that are like obfuscated and you don't know how... Uh, trying to explain to people like how, the, how that stat influences your iframe counts and stuff like that is, is a lot. Yeah. Uh, especially if you've never played one of these games before. Oh, jeez! The repost. I will say though, not in defense of ADP, but I find it a little weird how role focused these games became. Mm -hmm. Um, especially after like Dark Souls. So Dark Souls one and two, like rolling is important, but it's not the only way that you can sort of play. Yeah, by the definitely. time you hit. Uh, Dark Souls 3 and like Elden Ring rolling is pretty pivotal mm -hmm. and roll <clears throat> spamming is uh, actually a very viable tactic if you can a lot of the encounters you can just kind of spam roll and uh, get away with it mm -hmm. so I, I kind of feel like these earlier games did a better job of maybe balancing those two things and not and not just letting roll be the the sort of the free dominant uh yeah the skill the, that you have yeah um i yeah so i kind of i kind of like both cuz i enjoy the timing aspect of like i've talked about before of like dodging in elden ring 
Um, but I also, it, it also does kind of bother me that it's like, okay, this is just, this is the rolling game. Like, you have to roll everything. And I kind of like the idea in here and kind of in Dark Souls 1 where you could be a little more shield, or not just could, but had to be a little more shield focused at some points, unless you were, unless you basically already knew what you were doing with the game. Because um, that's sort of a timing thing also. Like, you have to time your your attacks and when you're blocking yeah. and stuff and balance it along with so, rolling. Someone brought up Margit, uh, mm -hmm. which is actually a good point uh, in that I actually think that Margit's a great example of how important rolling has become. Mm -hmm. uh, because they're really... Trying to shield Margit is quite difficult because he does so much stamina damage. And you're right, he does stagger his attacks, which makes rolling uh, more challenging. But mm -hmm. it kind of just means that you have to spam the roll even more. Or, yeah, and uh, like basically memorize his, his yeah. sequences of attack patterns, which is really satisfying when you do it, but... Um, and are sort of inarguably the hardest bosses in the game really punish like shield play like yeah. Melania is anti-shield because she will heal even if you block her attacks yeah sorry I'm just concentrating because I can I can feel uh I can feel the gank coming <laughs> <laughs> everyone knowing what's coming being like yeah <laughs> yeah yeah see I in the in the alpha or whatever you want to call it like the sky was this sickly blown out color and there were really heavy shadows and stuff and i kind of like it like this looking a little more it's it's more like overcast and a little more naturalistic yeah there's a more sickly area later in the game that actually fits that kind of more nice i've heard this game has a lot of environmental variety Yes, it does. I hear uh, stomping. That's a lot of... St I don't like that sound. Ah! Invasion. Ah, I see. Ah, I see. Here. Okay. Here comes the gank. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> Here comes the gank. <laughs> ah! <laughs> um, so you don't have to be human to be invaded in this. Right? Correct. I, uh, I that, think that's that, a great change. Uh, that's an NPC. You just met uh, Armor Dennis. Was it? Who okay. Is, uh, an absolute dickwad. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I did get invaded. I, th I think it was twice, though, while I was going through here off stream. And they were definitely human. Unless FromSoft did a really good job at having their NPCs emulate being, um, being actual players. But, like, their this behavior game, seemed very actual player-like. Um, this game actually has probably the hardest invaders out of all of their games. Really? Like, they're, they're, the invaders in this game kind of don't fuck around. Uh, and they, they do funny shit, like... Uh, emote after they kill you and stuff. Oh yeah, which is okay. Really funny. Maybe they um, were. I guess I don't know if they were people or not then. But the, like the way they were moving, they were doing very sort of um like spastic movement and yeah. I mean, like they, they they totally they totally could be uh totally could be players. Like they, people still invade. Yeah, I I think having it that you can be invaded even if you're ow. Even if you're not human is a great change, simply because I how often are you like how often do you go human in Dark Souls 1? Not that often. Unless you're summoning or you just kindled a bonfire or whatever. Like I don't think I I've ever been invaded in Dark Souls 1 by a human player. Come to think oh, of really? it. Really? I don't think so. Cause I, I think like yeah. Kindling definitely forces you to become human. Mm -hmm. um, and that's usually at, like when I get invaded. Definitely it's the easiest to get invaded in this game. Um, 
and probably the hardest to get like invaded by a human player in something like uh bloodborne is pretty rare because you have to be in specific areas and elden ring you have to basically have other people in your party mm -hmm. like there is no like getting invaded solo unless you're specifically asking to get invaded by using an item right I, uh, I'm, I doubt I can... Yeah, I don't think I can jump my way over there. Is there a point in going through here? There may not really be a point. I think there's a guy in the corner there, though. And, yeah, so there's at least a point in going inside. Oh, he got there a lot quicker than I thought he would. Yeah, for being okay. turtles, they're quite fast. Yeah. Eh, this I don't know if this really was a plus. One guy <laughs> hasn't even noticed me. Oh, 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 wow. I can't believe I nailed that. That was the ADP kicking in. Yeah. Uh, okay, here come the here comes the gank squad. I don't think defeating the gank squad is an option here. <laughs> That's what I think. I think you know where those you know where those dudes are coming from, right? Uh, from upstairs. Yeah, they're they're the guys you saw on the roof. Well, like so, I guess I could go try defeating them first. Hmm. I'm gonna try. This is going to go poorly, and I know it, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to try running ahead from them to see what happens. Tree giant seeds? Yeah, we'll get to, we'll get to this. We'll is one get of those, there. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll explain it when you get to it. All right. Yeah, that was a case where stamina really screwed me over. Wow. Really screwed me over. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, if, if you become stamina starved in this game, it is, uh, it is very punishing. Yeah. I'm seeing that. Something that you kind of don't really have to worry about too much in later from software games because the stamina regens so quickly. Yeah. It's funny, like, I I love Elden Ring. I think it's phenomenal. But every time it's something that's like, B this is something Elden Ring did differently than Dark Souls 1 and 2. I'm usually like, eh, I kind of prefer it the, the way Elden Ring didn't do it. Yeah, because definitely these earlier games are, are kind of more that slow survival horror kind of yeah. energy resources experience. And Elden Ring's more kind of like a action adventure take on the yeah on the genre go yeah i'm going to try to be more mindful of not um not letting my stamina run out There we go. Not too bad. So people do damageless runs through this game, huh? Uh, yep. There's actually uh, two challenge runs that will actually give you special items in the game. Oh, uh, wow. One, yes. That's one, cool. One is uh, beating the game without sitting at a bonfire. <laughs> really? Yep. And one is uh, beating the game without dying. So, uh, so, is there a, has some, I'm, I feel stupid asking this, because I'm pretty sure that 
anything I ask, the answer is yes. But has someone done a damageless, a sword hilt only run of this game? Uh, so I think they run la they run the soup ladle. The soup I, ladle. I'm, yeah, there's a soup ladle item, and people will do like damageless, a soul level one soup ladle. Jeez, runs. that's nuts. I still, I still don't quite understand why people don't like this game. I'm gonna be honest. It just, it feels like playing Dark Souls One the first time. Like, oh, did uh, just ask um, <laughs> just ask, just should, ask Sean. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think he said he said that the controls didn't click for him, which I can understand because they are a little weird. I was actually wondering if was that some bizarre attempt to make it more playable without locking on or something no like idea. that? Did we ever finish Dylan's system? I think they're trying to say system shock stream. Oh, OK, so I'm going to kill this guy and then go take care of the roof turtles. Did you finish your system shock stream? Uh, no, we only did, like, one or two of those. I was, t um... Yeah, I was talking to Dave last night about, like, how do we... Is there... Oh, me up here. Wow, okay, so... Heck. How am I gonna deal with this? I think <laughs> running is my only option. I can't, like, I'm not gonna be able to kill all of them. Let them smash the black barrels. That's true. That is true. Um, how do they even get down? Do they jump down? I mean, whatever. I'm just gonna run in. Um, oh. Ah. Well. Oh. oh, he invades all every time at this spot. Okay. Great. Oh, this is safe, yes. To be speaking. Comes my boy. Yep, here he comes. Oh, great, he's a magic dude. Oh, wow, the weapon tracking is bad, you're right. <laughs> yep, you can't, you can't do it out of rolls. Okay. Good to know. I am low on health. Oh, your son of a bitch, Dennis the Menace. <laughs> you missed one hour. Well, good news. You actually did not miss much. <laughs> In fact, what you are seeing here is basically what the whole first hour was like, except with, uh. I don't know what was what were we doing the first hour? Killing skeletons. Oh yeah, and the the crystal lizard too. Yes. Trying to kill the crystal lizard. Now I do seem to remember there being a few other doors I haven't opened, but I feel committed to making progress though. I I promised that I would make progress. We will open those doors at some point though. <clears throat> Is that your brother? No, uh, that's Dylan. He's a uh, developer on Gloomwood. Huh. Interesting. That, that was some. That was some pro rolling strats there. <laughs> yeah. Two, three, and attack. Oh, I was hoping to get both of them at once. Oh, that was almost a damageless run through the skeletons. Yeah, you started the backstab animation, but he uh interrupted. If it doesn't, yeah, if it doesn't click if it doesn't hit uh the like the first attack, enemies can still get out of it. Oh man. Um no, I did not make it's really funny that people go with the like I've made all the new blood games meme because 
I haven't worked on most New Blood games. <laughs> like, I've... I worked on, obviously, Dusk and Dusk 82 and Gloomwood, and that's basically it. Like, there are multiple people at New Blood who are more, or would be more deserving of the has made every New Blood game meme than, than I am. Yeah. I, I like the idea that some people just think you're the world most prolific game designer yeah <laughs> just like yeah just popping out like 20 hour games yeah you know, left year and right year nope i did i didn't so the cunning plan here is to simply despawn all these enemies that is what the plan is becoming yes <laughs> i don't know if it's a plan as much as it's, a, it's become a necessity yeah i I like the enemy despawning, honestly. Um, because it makes you f it makes you feel like there's progress being made even when there isn't any progress being made. It's like even if you're getting killed over and over and over again, it's you're starting to slowly clear out the enemies. You know what I mean? The problem, yeah, it's the turtles. It's the turtles that are getting me. The ninja turtles. The ninja turtles. Okay, that was really dumb. They have no excuse for that. Uh oh. <laughs> That's that is really like Elden Ring didn't have pancaking, right? If I remember correctly. It does, but um, it's it. The game it can be hard for the game to punish your healing since it comes out so quickly. Oh, jeez. I thought I remembered, uh, for some reason I thought I remembered Elden Ring not having pancaking, but... So, uh, my oldest daughter is really interested in Dark Souls right now, and... Are those black? Oh, they are! Mmm, I'm starting to see... I'm starting to see what the intended strategy is here. Um, and she thinks that the concept of pancaking is really funny, <laughs> of course. It is. Because <laughs> it is, yeah. Um, let me just read this message. Dead end? Yes, it is a dead end. Um, gonna take him out with range. <sighs> so, <laughs> so rude! There we go. Okay, he's down. Now we deal with the turtle problem. So there is... David going into his backyard with, like... <laughs> yeah. with, now we with, deal with the turtle problem. With, like, uh, rat poison. Now we deal with the turtle problem. <laughs> with, with, a, with a comically large wooden mallet. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of, That is, uh, I think, one of the most... Uh, are these... Uh, I don't know if they are. These are. Um... Okay, that was, uh, really hope I don't take fall I took oh a bit God. of fall damage. Wow. Wow, that was close. But, oh, I don't have any Estus left. Okay. Uh, we gotta eat the crunchy healing rocks now. Gotta eat the crunch, the, yeah. Ah, that's how they get down. I don't know if they can get back up then, though. may give me some time to loot everything here. Okay. Bastard sword. A whip, which I believe is a meme weapon. Uh, whips are actually really good in Dark Souls 2. Oh, okay. It was a meme there's in Dark only, Souls 1. There's some pretty good whips in Dark Souls 2, some pretty good whips in Elden Ring, and the best whip in all of their games, which is the Fred Kane from Bloodborne. Mmm. I remember hearing that name. Oh. <laughs> Just do it 11 more times. And... So I could... 
I think I could do a plunge attack and kill him. But then I'm going to... I mean, if I just live up here for the rest of the game, I'll be fine. <laughs> I, just, I just have to fi figure out a way of completing Dark Souls 2 from on top of this roof. <laughs> yes, you are you are also right. Uh, the Beast Cutter in Bloodborne is amazing. Speaking of pancaking, that is a strength whip that can pancake. Oh, jeez. That was, that was just <laughs> pathetic. That was pathetic. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 no. Uh, let's not. There's going to be no progress made by climbing up. We need to lure these guys to the barrels and somehow survive the barrels ourselves. <laughs> so happy with how that went. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that... I'm not sure that that could have failed any harder than it did. Oh, wait, what? That wasn't... Uh, I don't think that's not... Really? They looked... They looked black. Okay. Oh, the doorway is helping here. Okay. Oh, this isn't actually going too bad. But then after this, I have to face the stupid wizard man. Oh. oh. It, like, just barely caught you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna try the roof again. That, that, that strat is that was that strat was working. Yeah, it the the getting them funneled through the doorway actually worked pretty well. I'm gonna try the plunge attack again from here just because I could be very wrong about this, but I feel like it's a safer strategy than trying to fight him head on right now. Um. Eh, no. No, nothing about that was effective. <laughs> okay, going pretty good. Alright, alright. There's four turtles down. Now, the stupid wizard man, who... Could try getting him at range, but he, no, he had a ranged attack. Gandalf the cringe. <laughs> Gandalf the base. Uh. Where's the point my when he actually invades? My my strat with armor, Dennis, is to basically just uh be. Oh, he invaded here. Really, Trap. uh, really aggressive with, with whatever weapon I'm using. Okay. And just hope to fucking god I get the I get the, the first hit. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. His weapon comes out. That sword comes out so quick. Yeah. Oh. oh. Wow, he is a bastard. Um, he is very maybe much I should bastard. switch to slash for him. Because he doesn't seem to have much in the way of armor on. Although, is that... That's correct, right. Slash is... Would be better against no armor than thrust? Uh, the thrust can do the job. I I, I think one-handing your weapon means he wouldn't take any stunning, stun damage. So, uh... Okay. He, he, that's why he was able to just keep swinging at you with his longsword. So, shield may not actually be helping me out much. Okay, Probably this. not if you're not going to be using it, since you kind of weren't using it. During yeah, the fight. maybe. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh come on! I'm I'm getting I'm lazy now. Th oh I'm, no! Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing three thousand yep. souls just in front. There they go. You should really check some giant trees. I did check the giant tree. It said nothing happened. I can check it again. Turtles. Go look, but I've checked it. A f I've checked it several times because I went back to it off stream. Also, or 
am I misunderstanding the meaning of giant tree? Because this obviously looks to me like one of the same things as the last giant, but as a tree. So... Rixel's about... about trying. Last, nothing happened. See? They have a chance of spawning seeds after you get them. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> oh, let's let's bait the crossbow guys just to get those souls. The uh, the oh, code to the water cave work. safe um, is four five one. Just one specific tree. Okay. What are we at now? We are past. We are. We are now past an hour and a half. <laughs> we have no progress. No problems. But on the plus side, if I kill these skeletons enough, eventually they will stop existing. Also, that's kind of the brilliant thing about the, the soul system. Oh, that's a proposed story. Um, in fact, I think some of them have despawned. Maybe not. Uh, I haven't tried the Dogma um, 2 character creator. I heard it was pretty dope, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to allow this. Uh uh. This chat. <laughs> so, um, I take it you, um, you tried. <laughs> take it you tried to open the water safe with 451. <laughs> <laughs> you ho! <laughs> Speaking of sorry for spreading misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> and that yeah see that's the that's the thing about the exploding safe is like you can well exploding a safe is like you can you can actually use that to your advantage if you're clever I'm not as worried about the turtles as I am about um, the wizard guy. Yeah, you can. So in all seriousness, not trying to bait you into anything, you can lure enemies to the safe and like blow them up. Yeah, uh, Blasco killed the goat man doing that trick. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm late. How's progress? <laughs> Ain't eh, not not so much. Not so much progress. Oh, that worked perfectly. <laughs> you like retreated like a gopher. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> the DS2 ground moss texture they love is so is it? I hadn't noticed that. Where'd the other guy go? He must have hopped down. Oh, I never checked out the bastard sword. I wonder if that would help me. Oh. Hmm. Why was that? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> so, wait, what's wrong with the, the ground moss texture? Your bet was right, yeah. <clears throat> that was like... That plunge with just the normal attack was so much more effective yeah. than the plunging attack. Right? What's with that? Okay, where's the bastard sword? Here's... 
Oh, I'd need... Well, no, I don't need more strength to use it because... Um, I would just two-hand it anyway. Um, just try it. The house always... The hole always wins. Okay. So I can get about... I can get two regular slashes in before I should let stamina regenerate so I don't get burned out. Let's see. Have we eliminated skellies yet? We have eliminated three of the skellies. Okay, good. Only takes two to kill them. Kill? Ooh. Right? <laughs> I think much like real life, turtles are weak to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was the thing? Oh, it was the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that ma this made me think of it, but the uh, uh, two-sentence horror um, penis explosion chamber. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, like it, you know, you guys know what two the two-sentence horror Reddit is, right? Where it's this one was like, as the anesthesia began to take effect, I heard the doctor's voice take him to the penis explosion chamber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> move, move him to the penis explosion <laughs> chamber. It's I don't so know good. Why, I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just so, it like, <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, such, such a um. Alien, like a, a alien's version of what would be scary to someone, like <laughs> you know. What, uh, what am I doing? I should. Um, yeah, I'll take this guy out first, or I'll try to take this guy out first. <clears throat> Let's see, he gets out here. Hmm. I see. <laughs> Spend your attack, please. Oh, that was knife edge. Yeah, I'm probably just... Oh, that was stamina burn. Shoot. Okay, let's let it recharge. I should be rolling into him. Not like that. Uh, yeah, pancaking is just so fun. Oh! Oh, wow! Okay, so there's a reason maybe not to roll into him. Speaking of pancaking, yeah. Oh, made so little progress. I've killed some enemies for good. I will count that as progress. <laughs> the test chamber, the penis chamber, explosion chamber. Do you think that they specifically told that voice actor to to say that line so weird? Probably not. <laughs> the test chamber. Right. Interrupting is not as quick as with the rapier. I should be rolling into him and then immediately, immediately I got, uh, I got informed why I shouldn't be rolling into him. Much like, um, thief, like, guard voice lines, I'm pretty sure a bunch of that is just, like, Devs having fun in the in the sound booth, yeah. which I'm I'm all for. Was the bear, uh, what was the the bear pits dialogue scripted? Do you? I oh, well, I'd be, do you know? I'd be curious to know if that was. 
I feel like it has to have been because it goes on for so long and has like and has such a, a designed punchline, if that makes sense. Yeah, I but. I almost wonder uh, if they were like improving and got on the topic of like, oh, this is like, oh, have you been to like the bear pits and thought it was really funny and per se. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. I have no no proof to that. They uh, obviously, but it it just feels. There's a bunch of conversations in those games that feel like it, it feels like banter that uh, they like fleshed out. Ooh. I can't believe that hit me. I thought I timed that right. I feel like not the spiral is happening not now. In Dark Souls 2. Nope. <laughs> uh, I'm like I'm in the spiral now. In, you know the, the, death the, the death spiral. Um, so check something. Here. I mean, you could go somewhere else. Yeah, There's a couple I'm. Other options if you wanted to try it. Going. What to? Uh, what? Yeah. What do you guys think? Should I keep? Should I keep trying to do this, or should I explore somewhere else for a bit? Because honestly, I'm good with either. Um, I'm. I'm still fine trying to beat the turtle gauntlet. Smashing turtle. How much long? Well, unfortunately, I have a hard cutoff of 1230 uh, a few minutes earlier, if possible, because I have to go pick up my daughter um, from school. There is nothing useful in the section I'm in. What? After all this time? No, surely there must be something useful there. Go. That wasn't even progress! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, first off, I'm going to get my health back. So we're going to we're gonna start anew here. I did get the Bastard Sword, that's true. Oh, we have some summon signs. Where are these players or NPCs? Uh, these are probably players. I mean, heck, I'm human. Why does why don't I? Uh... Yeah, that's probably. A yeah, player. that's a player. Um, I mean, heck, let's uh, let's summon someone and see if they can help me get through the turtles and the the invader. Because I'm human, might as well just do it. The real friends we made along the way starts here. Uh, should I do two or just? Hello. Hello. Just go this way. Why are you going this way? I don't know why I'm going this way. Actually, that's a that's a good question. You've you've done that run how many times today? You're going oh, the wrong man. way. It's the it's the stream brain. I like, I swear. Oh wait, is there voice chat in this? I don't think so. Really? Cuz there's a little there's a little indicator. Hey other player person, can you hear me? Cuz there's a little indicator at the top. Whenever I'm talking. You see that in the top uh top left? I don't think it's whenever you're talking. I think it's Oh, maybe it is. The tiny summon sign. Yeah, it it looks like it's voice chat, but I don't. It's so weird. I've never seen that before. This game had voice chat? What the fuck? Oh, so, uh, and other... No other person. Kage Dede Wolfie, can you hear me? I don't think I've ever heard someone actually use that shit. Should... 
I, I think it's disabled by default. Okay. It's just it keeps it keeps doing little animations whenever I talk. <clears throat> yeah. Huh. Most players have it disabled. What? That's such a weird thing to add to to the game. Wait, what? There we go. One down, three to go. Imagine if spellcasting was tied to you yelling in the mic. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Don't get behind it. Mm. Oh, oh, he got out of there just in time. Yeah. Oh, so close to being dead. There we go. Oh, he is not not available for comment. Oh, what? There, there's that. That was some Dark Souls 2 hitbox. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the emote I thought it was. Now, uh, now you just have to. Now he's gonna have to help kill that guy with yep. being at like 30% health. Yeah. Well, at the very least, he could distract. Here he comes. Oh. Ah, okay, that was. I oh, just probably heal. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Oh no, 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 no. Oh great. The time to heal was is, has passed. Yeah. Oh, I pressed roll! I pressed... Uh, well. Okay. Well, let's go somewhere else. That was fun, though. That is. That was I don't usually summon... In fact, I'm not sure I've ever summoned another player for um, something that isn't a boss. Dennis is the <clears throat> boss. Yeah, Dennis is the boss. That's true. Yeah, he has a lot of health. So, let me see. I think down there was a door that doesn't open from this side. Let me bait the... A little less prone to death than the turtle gauntlet, I hope. I let myself run out of stamina. That was dumb. Yeah, yeah, I, I am definitely seeing the stamina problems here. The tiny summon signs are... Oh, okay. It's a shame Dennis drops the key you need to get into the next area? What? You s <laughs> Okay, I don't know who to believe now. Because I was told there's nothing for me in that direction. And now, now I'm hearing it's critical progress? I think there was a door in here. Yes, I already opened this one, but I didn't progress through it. Um... 
I think I got completely bodied by this guy, if I remember correctly. Again with the stamina. Dennis is actually <laughs> the final boss. <laughs> Amazing key head, but be wary of Dennis. <laughs> it's, it's such a not Dark Souls name, Dennis. That guy. Probably fighting that guy. I don't know how the hit detection will be on different, like, heights. Again with the burnout. That was, yeah, that was dumb to let that run out. There we go. Yeah, it's like it's someone, uh, Higgins. The <laughs> you know what I mean? Dennis is such a... Oh, jeez. What is... Here, older, older. Mm. Try luring out. Oh no! What am I walking into? All hail night, Steve. Just this guy. You know, I don't, I don't think I remember being, having to watch my stamina that closely in Dark Souls 1, at least recently. Maybe when I was first playing? Certainly yeah, not like your, this. Your endurance is a bit lower too. That's true. Alright, got some stuff. I may actually switch over to light gems in for until I know exactly how much is left on this path. Oh great. Seem to have found a boss. It's a dude in armor. actually fought this guy before. He, I was just wondering, is this the guy that I climbed up and yep. like I, I climbed up that la ladder? And... Stamina! Ah, shoot. Oh, Sekiro has a dude in night armor? Yeah, it's it's a great fucking encounter. I won't spoil it for you. Okay. Hmm. So that door leads to a boss. Was there... Ironically, this guy is weak to turtles. <laughs> um, let's see. That, so that boss is actually pretty weak to parrying. Okay. Ah, uh, is it is it parry time then? Is it finally parry time? And by least, finally parry I, time, least, I mean. I think he's the the easiest way to defeat him is parrying. I think. Yeah, and I want to learn pair like learn the timing. So. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, uh, I think you're going the wrong way. <laughs> yes, you're right. And to gravity. No, I just have no spatial memory to speak of. Let's see what the... 
Okay, one, two, three. how many is that? One, two, three, four. So really only three is what I can get away with. Um, if I want to be able to roll afterward. I thought for sure I was going to catch both of them with that. the big guys well I'll try it with rapier they're gonna be slow so ish nice oh and I can interrupt them easily with this yeah, too it's awesome they're they're one handing that's that sword Okay. Not sure if I need to lure this guy out. Yeah. Well, I guess I took some damage from him. What did he give me? Sorry, I'm trying to look at chat and move at the same time. Um the life gem so that I have all of my Estus charges. Um, I can't. There's no repose. You just okay. have to keep attacking. did not get you yeah it's usually really aggressive. isn't that the one from the the um yeah. the gif oh did i mistime that or is that attack not repostable they're all the, the, i think all three of the those are variable okay i must have missed just just mistimed it There is a two-handed repost for this. Hmm. Do the stats tell? Uh, let's see. Is 140? Is that the? That's counter so damage. Yes. Okay. Counters. Does it say? Uh... Let's see. Physical reduction. I w does it have um, one for the counter window, or is that just th no, no? That's damage. That's, okay. That's uh, people have to data mine the parry frame data. Gotcha. I would assume the buckler is better, also, just in terms of like design wise, or it like. My assumption would be that's how they design it, but this is Dark Souls 2 after all. I could always do a quick, uh, let's see, do this and then quick switch to this and switch back. I don't know. That's a little unreliable. I don't even know if two handed would do that much more damage to him. Oh, man, um, I, th I think it does. Uh... I personally do that uh, two-handed. 
Perry two-handed. Okay. Back to Perry. But you're right. It, it is. Uh, it is a little. It can be a little uh, clunky. Okay. Some armor. Do we have a weird snake man we can feed this? We can feed our useless things to? No, Framp only. Oh, those creatures only appear in Dark Souls. Okay. Oh, that's a shield guy. I wish the crossbow had taken care of him. Oh, stamina. No weird snake man, just a drunk dwarf. Yeah, we haven't met. Uh, okay, so there is a there is deal, man. There is a way to get rid of your unwanted items then. Correct. That wasn't slander. He is a drunk dwarf. Royal swordsman armor. Let's check that out. Royal swordsman. Better in just about every way. Ways more, though. That's the only thing. Yeah. Although, it seems oh, like my that... roll is the same. Well, okay, here's the thing. Uh huh. Uh, stamina in this game is a little different. Uh, the heavier that your weight is, the uh -huh. slower your stamina regenerates. Oh. Uh, okay. and, it's, and it's done in a linear fashion. Okay. Yeah, that's something that I don't think any of the other, other games do. I'll stick with it for now, um, just because I'll be parrying this guy. Although, well, no, 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 that, yeah, okay, um, that's still a problem, because it's the, it's not just dodge, it's, hmm. Yeah, I do want to be lighter. Yeah, that's, that's purely based upon whether you want faster stamina regen or to take less damage. This creases roll distance. No effect on iframes. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Second front phase where he drops his armor and it's Dennis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dennis. Armor De Dennis comes out of his suit. Let me think. Okay, so. Not sure. Uh, the the little diamond is is weight, right? Uh, yes. So I could go for tunic, which. Is, is quite an armor very, decrease. Yeah, it, quite a bit. I don't know. I'm I'll try it with this. Ultimately I'm not uh ultimately I'm not gonna know unless I try. Oh right, I need this. Uh I need to do the switch though. Switch and switch back. Okay, that isn't too bad. Ooh, just just at the wrong time. Uh, I should, probably should do four in that. There, <laughs> there it is! There's the attack! Oh, I'm cursed! No! No! <laughs> oh, no! That's such a bad so, yeah. outcome. That is what he does when he does the blue attack. Uh, oh, the curse! Curses you. Oh no! <sighs> All right. So, what does curse do in this game? Uh, you already know what it does. It reduces your health. Oh. Well, I was so, uh, already cursed though. Right, but you. So you took humanity, which reset yeah. your curse. Then you became cursed. Uh, which, remember, your health goes down every single time you die. Uh-huh. So it's 5%, like, every time you die. Uh -huh. So 
what he did was he did he he basically gave you like five to six deaths worth of curse and a oh, single attack. Oh, okay. Jeez. Well, thankfully, it didn't have too much of an impact on my health, but. Um... Going okay with him, though. Like, I'm getting the parries. I just need to get them more consistently. I <laughs> like how you're, you're confident because he missed the, that attack the first time that you were just like, I'm just going to stand here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that one I probably won't try to parry when it's blue. Yeah, I'll probably just roll one, away from that. Yeah, that one I don't even, I don't try. I'm, I'm too, uh, the, the risk is too great. Yeah. It's, a, it's an auto kill if he basically gets that yeah. on you. And also, as we have seen from the internet, um, ooh, a life gem. It doesn't have the most reliable hitbox, unless that was yeah. patched. Was that like pre-patched Dark Souls 2 or something? No, I just think that sometimes that the attack hitboxes are fucking weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this, this rapier is doing a good job now that I'm not fighting turtles. Sometimes you just get Dark Soul to Dark Souls 2 Yep. Yep. Dark Souls 2 uh, taketh and taketh and taketh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is, I'm, with, with, with Hunt, there could be some there could be a discussion to be had about whether Hunt ever giveth. With Dark Souls 2, there is no discussion. There is no giveth. <laughs> it is all taken. Miyazaki is a greedy man. Yeah. <laughs> or is he a generous man because he he shares the taketh with us? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not the blue sword attack. Because it wasn't blue. Yeah, I can do four on that. Now I'm scared. <laughs> That's yeah, the blue sword good. attack. That is the one that we don't want to touch with a ten foot pole. Oh, geez. Oh! Once the rhythm is gone. I have. Uh... No! Uh... <laughs> I, I think gravity is more of a hindrance to me in this game than, than it is in uh in Dark Souls 1. I don't know why. I just I'm I'm doing very stupid rolls off of cliffs a lot more than I should be. Maybe I sh maybe I should also re-examine what rings I have on just I have no ring no oh right you can have two Oh yeah, I found this one. You can have four. Four. That's what I meant. Oh, I meant uh, you can have two extra. Is what I, what I, yeah. what my brain said. Wait, they have wait. Oh, uh, wait. Also. Yeah. Did they yeah, in the first up. game? Um, I can't remember. Oh, and you can have three weapons too. I know. Ta I know. Talismans and Elden Ring. Wait too. Huh. Yes, they also have durability. Luckily, we're not kind of at that point where durability is a, a problem. Yeah, but it will become a problem, I take it? Uh, it depends on the ring. That's a cool addition. I like I like the changes to durability in this. Um, but <laughs> that ragdoll was a bit funky. I thought that would have gotten him, too. So yeah, the stamina, the slower stamina regen is not really hurting me too much on this boss. And yes, this is still my second boss. So is this, um, am I doing unnaturally poorly for Dark Souls 2 at the moment? Um, I don't know. I, 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 I think that this is, this, uh, the early game for Dark Souls 2 is pretty challenging, uh, for 
Especially if you're coming from the other Souls games. Yeah, I'm almost wondering if I should stop playing Dark Souls 1 between streams. Although, I don't think it's hurting me too much. It just takes uh, a little bit of time to get back acquainted with the difference. The bar for unnaturally poorly is so low. Well, what does that mean in this context, though? Is Does that mean that... Does that mean it would be hard to do worse than expected for Dark Souls 2? Let's see. They patched the bug where everything had half durability. Yeah, <laughs> I've yeah, heard about I, that. I, I played during when that bug was active. It was not fun. This fight in particular, I, I actually went through like three rapiers. Oh, wow. To beat him. Wow. Yeah, it was a very, very bad bug. Oh, I felt like I should have nailed that one. That's the one, that's the one, that's the one. Okay, the gift didn't happen. I need to heal. Okay, not too bad so far. Oh, okay. Poke. <laughs> oh, that's it! That's it! Oh, oh. wow! Wow! I... You you were so surprised that you you didn't get hit by that that uh, it <laughs> yeah it messed up, up my timing. timing for everything yeah um so people yeah so people are saying that um Dark Souls two early game uh, people are agreeing with you Dylan that Dark Souls two early game is kind of brutal yeah um, it is. which I'm definitely feeling because I'm I would never describe myself as a a great souls player because i am not but i have a decent amount oh dang it oh well i have a decent amount of experience in <laughs> in souls games i played a good amount of elden ring and i've played a good amount of dark souls one um and i am not feeling like a very experienced player while playing this. Which I'm okay with, actually. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Yeah, once you start, like, get finding the weapons that you like and the armor that you like and getting a feel for the timing and everything, it becomes a lot easier. Yeah. It, it just, there's a big kind of curve to all that here. I don't think these will set it off. Yeah. But isn't that kind of the whole... I mean, isn't, isn't that the whole deal with these games, though? Is they're supposed to be about learning yes. as you go? And yes. Um, like, I think that um, this one in particular is off-putting in that way because it's kind of like that even if you're coming from the other Soul games. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't bother me because that's... Like, I wouldn't have completed those other games if I didn't enjoy that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm a little confused how you would even get to the point of being experienced in Dark Souls 1 and then come to this and not enjoy doing that again. Right. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Battleheim Mirror Greatsword is actually my favorite weapon in this game. I like the Crypt, uh, Crypt Greatsword, too. Or a crypt black sword, but the mirror great sword is probably my favorite move set. Two fifteen. Well, at the, v I guess the positive is that I know exactly what I'll be doing next stream, which is beating the sewer. Yeah, I think part of, I, I, the way that I, so I, the first time I played this game, uh, I also got frustrated and was also like, I, 
why is every why is controls feel weird why is also mm -hmm. why is everything so like different and stuff and i think what helped me was kind of uh removing my expectation of oh i've played these games i know what i'm doing and kind of trying to just be like i'm new to this game i'm trying to learn every game is throwing at mm -hmm. me. uh and i think that really helped me uh, get into this game and kind of approach it not as like you know oh this is dark souls 2 um, but as uh, you know, kind of my <sighs> first time playing a Dark Souls game again. Right. So, I wonder if... Oh, there's the attack. Do Homeward Bones work in... Shoot. Heal. They can if you can get it casted in time. Yeah. Uh, he, just let, he just let you heal. That was awesome. Yeah. I was, I'm just thinking that I have a lot of souls and it might actually benefit me to use them. Although I won't be able to get a Homeward Bone out right now. Oh, Dread, I thought it was far enough away. Um, I'm wondering if before the stream ends, I should use one to go level up a bunch or, or, um, actually maybe I should, uh, level up my sword. Yep, that's um, that's that's totally a thing you can do. You can yeah. put, equip a uh, hotkey, the homeward bone. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, then, and then head out. Here, I could just put it on a, another. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I do have a, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I do also have a bunch more like tools I could be using on him, like a magic, and I don't need that. Um, but I don't think I need to. I I think if I I think if I just do it a little bit more, I'll. Um, in fact, I might even. Hmm. I might try fighting him a little bit in off stream, to at the very least get used to it. So then next stream is not just me fighting pursuer over and over again. Unless, unless you guys want to watch that, like, it's really dependent on what people find entertaining. <laughs> like, if I, you, I, yeah, I, I, um, I think I'd be, I personally would be disappointed if, you know, we came to the next stream and it's like, I beat the pursuer and okay. it's like, oh, we kind of were robbed of that, uh, yeah, know. that's true. We, but that's, that, that's me, me personally. Uh, yeah, dude, if if, people in chat, stream, does that sound uh, about right? Because I'm suffering as my <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I mean, that is kind of what makes that that is kind of what makes soul streams great, right? <laughs> All right, so I'll figure on okay, yeah, it's 218. So I'm going to get into the what am I doing? Um I'm going to get into the arena and get my souls back and go I'll probably divide them up. I'll I'll level up some and I will I'll probably level up my endurance. That's a good idea. Because and I might put. Well, I'm yeah. I'm definitely gonna go improve my weapons a little bit too because that doesn't cost too much souls. So I might as well. Yeah, I remember you fighting Margit. Uh, because you were you were mm -hmm. like in stream in Discord and showing us you fighting Margit and mm -hmm. being like, like fuck this fight, and then <laughs> watching you just bear. I think you were at like one percent health, no mm -hmm. S's left, and you and got that last hit off right before he hit you. And yeah. Yeah, it, it I was one that. of those like classic Dark Souls uh moments. Just yeah. like just eked out a victory. <laughs> yeah. It was great. It was Margit and um Godric both Okay. So we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to be careful about this. Okay. Now let's see if <laughs> <laughs> it's so close. You might uh you might want to try pairing him and then cast him. Oh good point, yeah. That's a good idea. Um, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna heal. Nope, I'm not gonna heal. Okay. We're gonna have to try again. <laughs> I have ten minutes to get this well, I could always start the next stream doing it. Yeah, I don't mind you grabbing your souls and stuff. Yeah, there's just so many souls now. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel the, I feel the soul spirit take hold as I walk through the forest of the fallen giant just before I pass out of here. 
Tanimura say, move him to the dentist chamber. I I was taking a drink as I read that, and I almost sprayed it all over my keyboard. <laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah, uh, Margaret and Godric, I, I don't even know how many times I, um, I fought them. Dozens and dozens and dozens of times. I didn't realize Godric gave you such a hard time. Yeah, he gave me a, a bunch of trouble also. Um, I probably should, if, if I were a more, like, if I were less prone to being distracted, I probably could have made it through, like, I'm, Full admission, I never fought uh, Melania. Um, that's, that's fair. Which, yeah, which I figured I wasn't going to fight her. Um, but I, I honestly never even found her. I never went through the, the Halig tree or whatever. Um, right. But that was just because I was... I was Over, like, you you were Elden ringed out. I was Elden point. ringed out. And I think, I think I it's fair to be Elden ringed out after however many i it was like over a hundred hours just to beat the game which for me is uh i that's that has never happened before Ooh, ooh, did not stagger like i thought he would that has never happened before with the game that is far and away the most hours i have ever spent on a single playthrough of a single player game um and it's like by a by a magnitude amount <laughs> That game's huge. Yeah, and the fact that it kept me interested for that whole time was kind of incredible and really speaks to how incredible that game is. Okay, and I have to do this carefully. Grab the souls. Got up here. Because I know that there's stakes, now I'm going to have trouble with it. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. All oh. right. <laughs> <Heck> yeah. <laughs> Elden rung out. Yeah. Okay. Whew. That was nicely done. That was exhilarating. <laughs> What's this hardest pinwheel? Oh, good old pinwheel. wondering if he thought that a good game that costs five dollars and has two hours of gameplay is a fair price absolutely um absolutely that's a fr i person and i i know this is not everyone but i personally think that that like a an hour of good content you sh you'd be okay charging eight dollars for i th um and two hours of gameplay i think two to three hours what is you're up into ten dollar range personally is what i think um so let's level up first uh going to do endurance maybe even endurance twice that takes my poise up also which is nice um but you said my vigor is pretty low right yeah you could probably use a little bit more health take vigor up let's see I think I'm gonna. I do want more stamina, for yeah, sure. I, I, so I'm gonna I do think that. Definitely I think. hitting that up to like, you know, a bit higher definitely would help. Yeah. Um, and I do have some soft souls that I could. What time is it? Two twenty-four. Um, that I could use some of those, and in fact, maybe I will. Let me see what I have. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one. Um, that'll so that'll pretty comfortably let me um, level up once more and then go improve my weapon a little bit. And so let's see. Dexterity will take my health up a bit. How much does more vigor take my health? More. Hmm. Or I could do endurance. Hmm. It's probably your call. Yeah. I think I'll I'll do do vigor. Well, I'll do vigor. Yeah.
Okay, now we will go improve my weapon a little bit. And I think before I... Oops. Before I s face him again, um, next stream, I'm going to enforce that, because that's been treating me pretty well. I kind of like the bastard sword. I might take the... Well, what does reinforcing shields do? Uh, increases its stability, which reduces okay. stamina damage you take. Okay. Uh, well, actually, Looking it doesn't... Uh, it might actually happen at a slow rate. It doesn't seem to be okay. boosting it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm fight. really feeling that right now. Uh, but I have I have these souls. I might as well spend them. So, um... I mean, I, I like the Bastard Sword, and it is... It's low scaling for strength and stamina, but... It's gonna do it. Sure. Here we Must go. Right, that is going to do it for today. <laughs> Made very little progress, but next stream, though, we will get him. <laughs> uh, how do I market my game? Oh, jeez. But you're asking that at the end of the stream? <laughs> how do I market my game without having a publisher? I don't... Oh. <laughs> um, that's a very difficult question. I'm not even sure I know the answer to it. Uh, and I have to go pick up my child from school so I can't really get into it. Maybe if we remember we can talk about that at the start of next stream. <laughs> Explain how Unity works before you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that'll be it for today. Thank you everyone for coming. Next stream we will defeat Pursuer. I know it. Yeah, We will, we will make more progress next stream than none at all. I shouldn't promise things like that. But yeah, thank you, Evan, for coming. Thank you, Dylan, for being <laughs> I should, here. I should, I should promise things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, see everyone next stream. Bye.